All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you, just like me. All right, um, please check out my top 20 melodic rock countdown for the year 2023. This band was on the list. This is Vital Lines, uh, Wheels Within Wheels, just a great project with the amazing Robbie LeBlanc and uh, also Tommy Denander on guitar. Just a brilliant album, and you can find out where this finished. Pretty sure it was in the top 10. <laughs> and uh, a very underwatched video, and I knew it would be. In fact, my whole channel right now is just cratering again, and it's really discouraging because I thought, you know, I'm not talking about CVS as much as I used to. I'm not... Um, saying crazy political stuff that people disagree with as much as I used to. Um, and I thought, hey, you know, if I just stick to the music side of things and, uh, you know, just stay in my lane, as people tell me to do, uh, maybe things will change. And I thought they were changing, but uh, they're changing back in the other direction. I don't know if it's the post-Christmas ad apocalypse, you know, where they're just not running as many ads anymore. But man, um, I was doing better in 2018, 2017 than I'm doing now. So something is up. Um, it's either with me, um, the content, or just how the management does things here. So um, if you can help me out via Patreon or PayPal, well, actually not PayPal. Um, <laughs> I just don't trust giving out the PayPal info. But Patreon or YouTube memberships, right? Um, you can do that. It's pretty easy and it does really help. If I could get one tenth, uh, one twentieth of the number of subscribers that I have to uh, sign up and do something over on Patreon, um, I probably wouldn't care how uh, bad the revenue flow was. I just wouldn't care because I'm being independently funded so that would have been the best scenario so anyway um thanks for watching uh please if you could stay with me in the new year i am going to continue talking about melodic rock as the classic rock world begins to shut down this article today the year in music 2023 rockers say goodbye to the road uh, elton john announced he was retiring back in 2018 of course you had the little uh, thing-demic issue that uh, made that go on from 2018 to, I believe, sometime in 2023. Hence, this is why uh, they're saying uh, he said goodbye. Of course, Kiss, which took forever to uh, just end, finally, on December 1st and December 2nd at uh, Madison Square Garden. But they did introduce uh, Kiss avatars. So it looks as though they're going to be doing a hologram tour in the future. That's exciting. Uh, Aerosmith, we know about what happened to them. Uh, they were well underway. Uh, they were in Philadelphia on September 2nd, but just a few dates later, Steven Tyler uh, fractured his larynx. And Joe Perry is now saying it probably will be next summer. OK, uh, before they resume. And I think that's being very optimistic. A couple of uh, rock star friends of mine uh, have reached out to me and said, hey, <laughs> we don't think Stephen's going to come back uh, at his age. I think he's 75 and he'll be probably 76 by the time he comes back. Um, the Aerosmith catalog, um, which I believe opens with Back in the Saddle again. When you go see them live, that's their opening song. That would kill any larynx, even a healthy larynx. And uh, of course, we wish the best for Steven Tyler. I wonder if Aerosmith might resort to a little AI magic, but um, I just can't see Aerosmith doing that. But uh, you never know, just to get through the tour and to give the fans one last opportunity to see uh, the bad boys from Boston. Never know. Um, Dead and company. Uh, supposedly they're done, but uh, they'll come back in another form. Uh, they'll call it something else and they'll 
bring one or two guys along for the ride or they'll introduce new people. I don't think Dead and Company is done. Um, they just are going to morph into something else. Of course, you do have the Eagles out there who keep announcing more shows. And they've gone, I think, fairly deep into 2024. And uh, they're using pictures of Glenn Fry to sell tickets. I did a video. I don't think the Eagles are doing that directly. I just want to be clear. Um, not to get in any trouble with uh, the Eagles. I think either uh, some of the promoters are doing it online or people are lazy and they don't know who is in the band. So they're putting up pictures of Glenn Fry and Joe Walsh together which uh, is probably not honest advertising. But again, um, I talk about this a lot. Uh, there are a lot of people out there who don't know uh, about the original band, about um, the current band. Hence, you've got the Guess Who and the Little River Band and a lot of bands out there. <laughs> and if you go look at the old albums and look at the names and then compare them to the names that are there now, uh, you're going to find that um, they don't match up too well. So just uh, putting it out there. Um, who else? Uh, they list Billy Joel, who is ending his residency at Madison Square Garden, supposedly on July 25th. Uh, Billy has gotten actually more active the last couple of years. And uh, they did that rather strange pairing at one point between Billy Joel and Stevie Nicks. I guess they do share some of the same audience, but I still contend it's kind of an odd couple, but it could be worse. Uh, Rod Stewart, after 13 years, has announced uh, his final dates in Las Vegas. The final show is set on August 7th, will be his 200th show at the venue. Uh, one band that has uh, pushed back against uh, calling it quits, and they had said originally that they were going to quit uh leonard skinner um they have no original members but yet they're pushing forward into the new year and are going on tour with zz top uh, i put two of those tickets in my cart in my basket uh, and uh, it was 505 dollars okay after you uh finalize the purchase it's 505 so um this is why I promote new stuff, although, you know, you need a support system to uh, promote new material. Now, Foreigner, they, they missed Foreigner here. Uh, they're supposed to be wrapping up next year, although uh, they've teamed up with Styx, and I'm thinking they're going to love the revenue because that's a nice pairing. Uh, they might have Loverboy with them. Loverboy has not announced the end of the road yet. Um, Steely Dan, uh, they were out with the Eagles, and I think that whole thing got interrupted because Donald Fagan got sick. I don't know if he's coming back, but they replaced Steely Dan with a couple of other uh, pretty decent uh, bands. I think Steve Miller was one of those bands. Um, Steve Miller has got to be on his last leg. Um, he is, I think, pushing 80 years old. Um, he's really put it all out there for many years, Steve Miller. Um, they're going to be other announcements uh, probably next year, probably not yet. Um, the new year has to kick in a little bit. You've got Hart out there doing a few dates. I'm not sure if that's going to continue. Uh, technically, it could be their 50th anniversary. Some contend it's next year. Others have said it is... Um, this current year that we're in um, doesn't look good long-term for Hart based on the performances that I've watched. Uh, I'm not overly excited about uh, what they're doing, but uh, at least they're doing, right? Um, they wasted a lot of time, as I've said in videos. And then, yes, I'm a pretty big fan of Hart. It's just, uh, I don't know, <laughs> just... There are a lot of these bands that are just hanging on by a thread or, you know, it's plausible that you'd want to go and listen to them for a little while. But if you're expecting the songs as you know them, the way they were recorded on the radio, I think uh, you're going to be disappointed. 
Now they weren't recorded on the radio the way they were recorded, the way you hear them on the radio. So in any event, uh, sometimes I need to put commas and use conjunctions. All right. Uh, I apologize. So in any event, folks, um, there are other bands I'm probably not thinking about that are completely done or about to be done. And, uh, Maybe that's why this channel isn't doing all that well, because soon there's not going to be anything to talk about. Well, the Stones are coming back, right? Paul McCartney says he's coming back. Um, so, yeah, you've got some things to look forward to. Um, but Journey, yeah, they're they're coming back with a big tour. Journey and Def Leppard and Toto is out there. Um, so, yeah, uh, it could go on for a few more years. Uh, I'm going to try to make the best of it. Um, after it's all over, it's going to be cats falling off the of tables and uh, things like that. Crazy dog tricks, something. Um, the music business uh, didn't plan uh, on a very long future uh, when it comes to normal rock and roll stuff you can listen to, stuff that's fun and uh, not too painful on your ears. Uh, I'm not talking about soft rock, although I am a fan of soft rock. I'm just saying in general, uh, there should have been a next phase of this. And right now we're just watching all of the old geezers uh, who are now sitting on stools to perform. Somebody sent me a video of Jack Russell and his version of Great White. Why are there two Great Whites? There just should be one. I, I don't... <laughs> I know everybody makes a deal. Hey, you can take the name, you know, yes, did the same thing with John Anderson. Sure. You can have your version of yes. And then we'll have our other version over here. The Steve Howe version. Um, I guess it gives fans a chance to see more than one version of the band. And then they can decide which version they like the best. I, I don't, I don't know what the logic is there, but in a few years, this is probably all going to be gone. So in any event, um, I got some new music to share. Uh, Vital Lines, check this out. Wheels Within Wheels. This was in my top 10, I believe. And you really need to go watch the melodic rock countdown. All right? Um, because nobody is watching the video. Um, and that's why I keep saying, if you can help me out via Patreon or YouTube membership, uh, it it appears that uh, the channel has reverted back to uh, where it was like three or four months ago, which is in steep decline. So I need your help. I need your support. If you haven't subscribed, do it if you want to. Also, um, you know, YouTube memberships, early watching privileges. I think I've made that clear. Um, but yeah, ramping up for the new year. It's just so exciting. <laughs> I'm hoping things go in a positive direction as uh, we continue to do commentary and uh, really doing stuff that uh, other channels don't do. Although it appears that people like the other channels better. So I'm just going to do what I do, try to stay in my lane, and I will talk to you soon.